What's up keto people? So I wanted to make another uh, bad ingredients sort of more keto tips video for the people that might not know and um, that this is really bad regardless of whether you're strict or keto really um, it just it shouldn't be these things shouldn't be consumed if you're doing keto. Um, the first one is uh, the sugar-free um, creamers like uh, the coffee mate the vanilla maybe some pumpkin spice or whatever I mean they have corn syrup in there so some soybean oil some vegetable oil in some but once again maltodextrin maltodextrin is the highest sugar filler out there um, I think it's 110 um, give or take um, and table sugar is like 60 to 65 somewhere in there so I mean seriously almost double so you really need to watch out for that sorry for the Sun um, the other thing is crystal light in powder form. The powder form has maltodextrin in it. Um, now you can probably get the ones in the liquid form with sucralose in there um, if you really wanted to. I usually tend to stay away from anything of, of that particular type of the, I, I don't know why, I just do. Um, but to each their own. Also, the big bags of stevia. Look at them, look at the back. Are they baking blends? Do they have maltodextrin and dextrose in them? There we go. Two more things. Dextrose is also one of the bad ones. Um, so look for that because those big bags always have fillers in them. You just want to get the smaller bags, probably a little bit more expensive. There's some pure um, erythritol, which you probably can't get most of, most anywhere, but like Swerve, you can get those at HEB if you have them now, Whole Foods, um, Amazon. Also, Blue Diamond, any flavoring, including Smokehouse. There's vegetable oil, canola oil, and some maltodextrin in there. Um, so you also want to be mindful of that. The only time that you can really get almonds is when it says raw. When you just look at the back ingredients and it says almonds. So be careful of that. Also, one quick side note I do want to mention that um, macadamia nuts, um, you know they're very good and everything don't don't worry about those i'm just saying that they're they're quite toxic for dogs i mean they can there's like vomiting weakness there's um muscle tremors um things that dogs can get and i know it's a completely random tip or whatever but um i just happened to to notice that on facebook the other day when some woman she went on this road trip and her dog she was feeding her dog her macadamia nuts and her dog kind of had a couple of seizures and things don't worry about it. the dog didn't pass away the dog is fine but uh, so just, uh, that's a little tip that I didn't even know about, so I'm passing on to you. Okay, so for the ingredients, y'all really need to just pay attention to, look for dextrose, fructose, maltodextrin, maltitol, sucrose, not sucralose, but sucrose. All of those are bad, um, especially for strict keto. So I'm going to try to put here all of the bad ingredients, um, if you can see that. Uh, really anything that says sugar-free is not and you want to be mindful of the maltodextrin and the dextrose and the maltitol especially for sugar-free anything like that is just bad um, and the only other thing is oils you really want to avoid soybean oil I know you don't want to I know it's in everything like all of your Hellman's mayos your Duke's mayos your Ken's Thousand Island dressing or whatever um, but believe it or not, even the um, biggest people out there, Keto Connect, um, they avoid soybean oil as well uh, because it is it's it's the, the omega six and the omega three factor. You just you you don't want to have soybean oil, regardless of whether you're strict keto or dirty keto. It's just a big no no. Try Primal Kitchen, which I know is more expensive, or you can make your own, which I do have a recipe for mayo and a couple of other ones um, that you could do. Um, also try to avoid um, corn, corn syrup as well as um, vegetable oil, canola oil, peanut oil, any of those. Um, anyway, I hope this does help you out a little bit more as I try to get more guys. Have you just had one of those days where just nothing is working for you? That has been my whole entire day today. So anyway, my uh, I didn't have enough storage so I needed to go back. Anyway, what I was trying to say is when I get more tips, I will certainly give more to you. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. I love y'all. I will see y'all next time.